Welcome back to the channel, you guys. Welcome back to Ironclad RC. Got the mini mono on the block. On the block. I just repowered this boat. All right, I put a Traxxas Ventilon 4000 KV 380 brushless motor in it with a 30 amp fly color ESC. I got it all hooked up. I got the cool and run. I got everything done. Um, last time you guys seen the boat, I actually was putting this Hobby Wing 30 in the boat and the stock motor, and I ended up like smoking the motor and the ESC upon installation. So I went ahead and installed it. I was just ready to get the boat ready, you know, going. So we're actually going to take the boat out to the pond and run it. Okay, we're going to be running it on 1300 milliamp and 850 milliamp spectrum smart packs. Okay, um, before we go, before we go, I actually want to show you guys a little trick that I have to help you guys get your motor lined up to your to your stuffing tube okay i'm just going to kind of walk you through it cut the sections in because it was like a, a long tedious process so i'm trying to save a little bit of time so stick around stick around don't blink don't blink big b here with that clad rc before i put this motor in we had the stock motor the stock motor right here it actually for some reason the, the the stock motor lined up perfect with with the stuffing tube okay the cable everything lined up perfect with this motor uh when i put the 380 traxxas motor in uh i don't know if it was like the extra weight or what but kind of my my alignment to the stuffing tube with the shaft was kind of out of whack i'll show you right now Hopefully you guys can tell from that little clip, I accidentally deleted, <laughs> permanently deleted the, the clip I needed for this video. Um, the, the motor was actually um, like sitting more flat than it is now. I needed some angle on the motor. The motor was actually sitting like this for some reason. So I actually shimmed up the bottom of the motor down here with a flat head screw. These are like motor mount screws. I think it tracks the screw. I've used these in the past to put on the bottom in the bottom hole screw it all the way in then put the motor in the motor mount that little screw that's sticking out will actually give you a little bit more angle and you can grind the screw off if needed this one i found it's a three millimeter and it's got an even lower profile head you see that so i think that's all we're going to need to do now so i'm gonna go grind some of this screw down cut 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 it in half so we don't mess up the, the coils on our motor. I'm going to cut half of that off. I got the screw taken down. I put it in a nut to knock off the little burrs so I don't mess up my head screws on my motor. That bottom hole on my motor. Now this is just a quick remedy, you know. It's so I don't have to pull my whole motor mount out, reposition it, and all that stuff. Alright, now I can grind some of that off. Make it a little lower profile. <laughs> I've got it grinded down. I put a little teeny tiny drop of Loctite on there. I left the screw uh, imprint there so I can actually get it out later on if I need to. Okay. So we're going to drop it in the, in the boat right here. Okay. And I put our head screws in. Loctite it in. I think I got it lined up pretty good. Oh yeah, look at there. Yeah. You see that? You see how it's lining right up? Boom. Huh. <laughs> So yeah, yeah, the alignment's perfect, you guys. I got the alignment perfect. I put a new Teflon liner in the boat. I used some uh, JB Marine Weld. I'm trying that stuff out on this polycarbonate and plastic. I used it right, right there on the servo on both sides. I put some on the back side there with double side tape on the servo. Uh, G-Man actually had this like epoxy, then double side tape down, and the epoxy broke. So I'm using this to uh 
permanently attached the servo <laughs> it'll probably go out now that's my freaking luck but uh yeah she's all she's all ready to go man <laughs> Yeah, she's gonna scream, you guys. It's actually an old Traxxas motor, man. I don't know how long, how much longer she's got, but uh, that motor's probably three, three years old. Um, the 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 Revo I pulled it out of. We didn't. We used it quite a bit when we first got it, but we hadn't been using it much either. I'm actually gonna repower the Revo. That's why I pulled the motor. <laughs> So yeah, the JB Well is done drying. I'll see you at the pond, guys. I'll see you at the pond. Uh, I got my 120. It's uh, in paint booth right now. I'm about to tape it up. Got the transom back on. All right, looks good. Turned out good. I'll see you at the pond, you guys. See you at the pond. All right, let's get it, you guys. Let's get it. All right, it's not sinking. Probably need to put some tape on it. Let's just kind of feel it out. Wow. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. You can tell it's got that little extra weight in it, and it's a good thing. Full trigger. Oh, oh, my God. Gee, it's fast. Damn. Fan hole. I don't want to mess it up. Full trigger. Oh man, you could tell. You could tell it's got a little extra weight in it, especially at this higher speed. Um, before, before I did this, it would want to blow up off the water. Light weight, full trigger. Nice. That's pretty. Ooh, about lost it. Plenty of water cooling coming out. Uh oh, power cut here. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Had a little power cut. Man, she's fast. Jeez, is that the battery already? Uh, like a low voltage cutoff. So let's see what's going on here. It's got plenty of cooling coming out. 109. Oh, that's not bad. 107. 108. Okay. Wow. Jeez, it's got some amp draw. Jeez. Wow. All right. So let's throw in another another pack. Damn. Woo! God, look at that thing. has got some juice, boys. Oh. Oh, into the wind. Oh, man. Way too much power. A little windy. It's actually handling pretty good with that big motor. A little windy for this little boat. Oh, man. Right when I said that, it blew over. All right, started raining. A little cloud. Full trigger. Alright, let's get it. Wow, that's that little 850. Don't get a long run time. I need to tune it to get through high speed, you know? She's wanting to blow up off the water still. Dang. Alright. With these boats right here, you can bend the strut a little bit and get a little bit of angle on the strut. Let's see how that does. Put some down angle on it. Should keep the bow down. All right, well, I still got some battery left. Let's put that six pitch propeller on. Oh, 
look at the servo twitching. All right, 630. Man, I've been itching to try this prop on this boat, man. 630. Oh, that's keeping the bow down. Jeez, I didn't even need to tune it just now. Let's lift that strut up. That's all I need to do is put another prop on. That Aquacraft prop's got a, a lot of um, bow lift. There we go. <laughs> Full trigger. It's wanting to push the bow down big time. There we go. All right, that's our battery. So fresh pack with the 630 here. That little 630 Octura would be good for a little uh, vector small. Yeah, man. Yeah, man, that little prop gets it, y'all. I had it on my rigger yesterday. It's actually working pretty good, man. Full trigger all the way around the trees. Check it out. Full trigger. Yeah, man, she's running good. Full trigger. Tried it out on my rigger. It's a little slow on the rigger, but that 630 is perfect on this little boat. Keeps the bow down, not too much torque roll. Man, I wish I would have put it in with the big packs, man. Oh, she's blazing fast, you guys. Jeez, has a low center of gravity with all that weight in it. It actually rode really good with the light setup, but I'm kind of happy with the way the boat's running with the heavy setup. Got to get it tuned in. That servo's twitching. Jesus, fast. It is blazing fast. <laughs> successful recovery guys successful recovery uh, the temperatures are pretty cool it's not too hot plenty of cooling coming out um, I actually like this 630 on the boat man it's the round ear it's got a little bit of rake so it actually helps keep the bow down I actually had to do some strut adjustments uh, the next time we come out I'm definitely gonna run that 630 prop with the 1300 milliamp battery uh, the 1300 milliamp in the stock propeller was actually it was way too much man at 32 millimeter prop she was wanting to like fly out of the water like had a lot of bow lift so uh, i'm interested to see how it does with the 1300s and the 630 i'll, I'll bring it out with me the next time i bring my boats out i'll, I'll try to keep a few biz videos going with this little mini mono because it sure is a blast to drive uh the, sorry about the weather man I can't, I can't really control that uh you know probably not the greatest boat footage running footage but uh We'll get it next time. We'll get it next time. So thank you guys for watching. Big B with Ironclad RC, channel where we tinker test and overpower everything. We'll see you next time, boys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I told you guys it would quit working, didn't I? Didn't I? I told you. I freaking knew it. It's an old Hobbyco servo. <laughs> I freaking knew it, man. Soon as I permanently... It's been like wobbling back and forth with that epoxy breaking loose. <laughs> as soon as I freaking put it in the boat permanently, it quits working. Go figure. <laughs>